It's Stephanie with Simmerkey, and let's play Welcome to Parenthood. Now, if you missed this series introduction, I will make sure to link that in the description below. It's just a quick four minute video explaining how we got here and quick recap in case you don't feel like going back to look at that. Uh, these aren't my kids. Well, I mean, I guess they are now, but this series, I wanted to be as close to reality as possible for me. And of course, this is my sim self here with the pink hair. And that's my sim self dad and my niece and nephew, Cora and Gage. Now, uh, yeah, again, the only, the only, the only way I could ever see myself having children is if something tragically happened to my sister and her husband and I was um, supposed to take care of my niece and nephew and legally adopt them as my own. That's the only way I would ever have kids. So I created that alternate reality for this series. So if anyone who watched the introduction uh, was upset because my sister died, I promise that did not happen. She is alive and well. So I want to make sure that's 100% clear. Sister and Dave are fine. <laughs> this is just a weird alternate reality of what could happen uh, based on real characters. So everything that's going to happen is mostly going to be, well, you know what? I want to leave that a mystery. Some is based on real life situations and some is completely made up. So you, that's for you to decide, I suppose. <laughs> so I hope you guys have fun watching. And that was my chair. That was not me farting. Although the toddlers can fart and it's really cute and I'll try to show that. But anyways, let's, let's just do this. Let's get into the gameplay. So I still look terrified. Um, I just adopted my niece and nephew. Like literally there is no, they don't have beds. They don't have anything. So we're going to have to do this and figure this out together. This is going to be quite a task, quite a, a task. So Stephanie is now the caregiver of Gage. This means she will check on the toddler's needs on a regular basis. Oh, toddlers. Of course, I'm Cora's caregiver as well. And I went ahead and made my dad a caregiver too, because you know, he, he's, he's going to help. He lives with me. And um, I own a clothing store in the game and in real life, so it's going to be very interesting to see how that plays out. But guys, the toddlers have nowhere to sleep. I'll give you a quick apartment tour, and this is based off my real apartment. So this is kind of um, the entryway and living room here. I'll do a proper tour because I know you guys like my tours. Woo, I just breathed funny. Um, <laughs> Let's back on up a little tiny bit so we can do a proper tour here. And let me pause it so the Sims don't go crazy and, I don't know, do things. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Going through the front door, going through the front door of my Sim self's apartment. <laughs> We've got some art on the wall, a cozy little living room. Yes, definitely, definitely cozy and small. There's doors that go out to a balcony. Um, and over on this side is the TV. And over here, we have some decorations, a little bookshelf and a reading nook. Way back in this corner is the dining room. Oh my gosh, we're going to need high chairs for the toddlers too, aren't we? It's going to be a lot of work, a lot of work. <laughs> Thank goodness you guys are here to help me. So this is the kitchen, just a small little galley style kitchen, nothing too crazy in here. Um, the kitchen has two entrances and this one goes back into this hallway. These are just utility closets. In real life, I have my pets, uh, cat litter and things in one and toiletries and things like that in the other. Um, this is my bathroom here in the hallway. And again, pretty small, but you know, it's got everything I need, everything I need. <laughs> Next, I'll show my dad's room and I'll save my room for last because, gosh, we have to figure out where we're going to put these toddlers. I still don't know. I don't have a plan. Just like in real life, I wouldn't have a plan. If this happened, I don't know what I'd do. We'd have to go buy them all new furniture and everything because um, in this series, the parents, the kids' parents died in a fire and the fire was so bad that it actually consumed their entire apartment. So we have to start from scratch. These kids have nothing. Like, they have nothing. Oh, poor babies, poor babies. So this is my dad's bathroom here. And then this closet, he has a nice big walk-in closet and I pretty much uh, use it for my stuff. So 
uh, I use it for storage. <laughs> so there's that. And then finally, let's go into my room. Oh my gosh, where are we going to put Cora and Gage? There is a nowhere to put them. Nowhere. I, I don't know what we're going to do. I have no idea. Um, so this is my room. There's my bed. There's my uh, tablet that's supposed to be my laptop on the floor. Got some closets over here. Whee! and my TV, and that should be a vanity. So um, I'm going to ask you guys for your suggestions below. For right now, we obviously need to put some toddler beds and high chairs and stuff in here, but for where we're actually going to li live, leave, live, <laughs> uh, hold on. I'm going to give you, whoops, what am I doing? Give you an overall shot of the whole apartment before I ask you what I'm about to ask you. Okay, so this is the entire apartment. Are we going to remodel this for the toddlers? and live here forever. Well, not forever, but you know, <laughs> for for at least the, the beginning part of the series. Or now that we have toddlers, should I uh, pull some money out of savings and go, go get a bigger house? So I'll let you guys decide below for today. We're just going to plop what we need where we can. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let me see. Let me see. Toddlers. Oh boy. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I would go, I would go crazy in real life. I would go crazy. I wouldn't know where to start. Ooh. Okay. So let's, um, first of all, let's go into build mode. That might help, right? Okay. Where can I put my tablet? Let's get rid of this perfume over here and we will put my tablet over here. I guess we're going to have to get rid of this and this and put a little bed for Cora in here. Maybe Cora will sleep with me and Gage will sleep with my dad. Um, I guess that's the best solution for right now. Ooh, this, oh my gosh. I'm just imagining. I want my, I want my, uh, <laughs> reactions and stuff to be real. So I'm imagining if this literally happened in real life, what, what would I do? Where would she go? Where could she go? I guess there. That's the only place it'll fit. I guess she could get in one side, I could get in the other, and <laughs> fingers crossed we can get some sleep that way. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. The only other thing I wish I could have made was my cats, but, you know, the whole not having pets thing. Okay, so um, I guess my dad would do this put this chair over here. I'm trying to think. I was like, would he throw it away? I probably shouldn't have thrown away my dresser or my extra side table, but it happened. It happened. I guess I didn't need it that much. And then Gage would probably just sleep over here. He would want a car bed too, though. He would want the red one. So I guess that that would be their little setup. <laughs> oh my gosh. And potties. Where are we going to put potties? Our bathrooms are so tiny. They're so tiny. Oh no. Oh no. Where would I put a potty? Oh my, does my ba bathroom have room? <gasps> no. I don't know what to do. <laughs> this would happen in real life too. I would be like, where, where do I put it? Where do we put it? How about... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I would have to do some remodeling. I would have to do some remodeling. But it's an apartment, so we can't. Okay, how about this? <laughs> okay, this is what I would probably, really probably have to do. Um, let's just put this in our family inventory. I don't want to be deleting things. <laughs> oh, backspace puts it in the inventory. Okay, so I guess if we had to, and this hallway actually doesn't exist in real life. It's just here because I didn't know how to make this part of my apartment. Uh... <laughs> oop, oop, oop. There we go. I guess I would put them out here in the hallway and like cover them with curtains or something. I really don't know. I guess we would need to so they don't fight, you know? They each want their own potty. I mean, that's understandable. And no one ever gives the kids toilet paper, so I'm giving my niece and nephew some toilet paper because I'm going to try really hard to be a good mom, although I'm probably going to fail miserably. So I guess I would do that and then, like I said, put some sort of curtains. I don't know. Curtains are kind of my answer to anything if I need <laughs> If I need to, like, close off a space or do something like that, so... And it's usually shower curtains. Yeah, I know. I'm weird. I'm weird. You're gonna find out just how weird I am throughout this series. <laughs> um, something bright and colorful, right? We'd have some pretty... Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna build a wall just because we need a wall, obviously. I wouldn't be able to actually build a wall in my apartment, so I'm just gonna do this just so I can put the curtains up more easily, and then we will delete them. Then we will delete them. So yeah, I would give them some fun curtains like this that we could kind of draw back if we needed. Move objects on. All right. So, ooh, 
Those are glitching pretty badly. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Maybe one curtain. Just one, one single solitary curtain and we'll pretend that it stretches all the way across. <laughs> Hold on, let's put one of these things here. This will make it look more real. All right. So that's what I would do in real life, okay? <laughs> Just give them the little toddler toddler corner wherever I could. I mean, my cats are in a closet. I thought about putting the kids in a closet, but like turning this into the kids' room. I mean, honestly, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> if you guys force me to keep the kids here at this apartment uh, instead of moving, I will probably turn my dad's closet into the kids' room. And true story, I actually lived in my closet for a while. Yeah, like I said, you're gonna find out just how weird I am. But um, when I came back from California, I lived in California for a bit. I moved in with my dad and my sister and they only had two bedrooms. So my dad had a bedroom, my sister had a bedroom and I was supposed to sleep in the living room. And I really didn't want to because I really wanted my privacy, you know, I was, 20 I think at the time so my sister had a big room like this with a, a walk-in closet attached and she was so sweet she gave me the room and she slept out in the living room so the part that was the bedroom I turned into my living room I had like my couch my tv my uh, computer desk and things like that and then the closet I literally turned into my bedroom so I had my bed and my clothes and my vanity in the walk-in closet and I lived in a closet I can't believe I admitted that all right Back, back to live mode. Back to live mode. Let's do this. All right, all right. Oh, they're gonna run amok. This is gonna be so insane. All right, guys. We'll have to go buy them toys too. Why didn't I get them toys? I'm a bad aunt. I'm a bad aunt. Toys, hold on. My dad, my dad literally in real life hoards toys. He hoards them. He just, he goes to garage sales and church sales and finds toys and keeps them all in his van. And then when he goes to visit the kids, he gives them a giant box of toys. And their parents are always like, stop it. We have too many toys. Stop bringing all the toys. And he doesn't listen. He just keeps bringing all the toys. So I guess I would, I would set them up a play area out here. Um, yeah, that's actually what I would do. I would give them a play area in the living room. Again, we're going to put the stuff in our inventory. We're not going to necessarily sell it just yet. And I actually have a dollhouse, so I would I would give them the dollhouse and let them play with that. Um, probably in the pink. Yeah, I would give them my little antique dollhouse. <laughs> Aww. Okay. And what else? What else would I give them? Oh, the high chairs. I almost forgot the high chairs. <gasps> this is going to be a tight squeeze, tight squeeze. Um, I don't know if these shelves are going to be in the way. Let me move them up a little bit and see if that helps any. Oh boy, this is costing a lot of money. Maybe we should sell the stuff we put in inventory. <laughs> we have a store to run to and we have like, I mean, I guess we have enough money. We'll be fine. I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating. It'll, it'll be fine. Oh God, that doesn't match. Oh God, that doesn't match. Nope, nope, nope. Um, do we have any white ones? We have white and red. Whoops, go back, go back. Ah! This would be, this would be, this would be horrible. Who's watching my store? Oh my God, who's watching my store in this scenario? <gasps> we need to figure that out ASAP. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh. Okay, well there's Cora and Gage, Gage's uh, high chairs. Do they need anything else? I don't even know. Should we look at the toys again? These poor babies, these poor babies, they need toys. They need all the toys. Where can we put a toy box? Um, um, gosh, what a tiny cramped apartment. Look at me just getting rid of all of my furnishings for them. I guess we don't need this either. We'll leave some of the stuff on the wall, but I mean, the kids need a toy box. They're kids. They need toys. There would be toys everywhere. I know this. I know this for a fact. <laughs> uh, give them the bear. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. They would have a gigantic bear. And I think that's good, right? Let me double check. Let me double, double check. We can't, we can't give them everything right now. I mean, I would, I would spoil them. As much as I'm saying I would be a bad parent, I would spoil them and give them whatever they want. All right. Oh, how can I forget the unicorn? Obviously they would have unicorns. I mean, that's just a given, right? <laughs> if they're anything like their aunt, they'll have unicorns. And Cora would have a little kitty cat. Where is it? There we go. Little kitty cat for Cora. <gasps> wait, wait. Engage would have some superheroes. So hold on. Let me give him a couple. He likes Ninja Turtles. He likes Spider-Man. 
So he would definitely. Ha oh, and he loves bubbles. There we go. Bubbles. Okay. The kids. Ooh, should we give them night lights in case they try to not let us sleep? <laughs> uh, I know I wouldn't get any sleep. There's no way. There's no way. Where are you, light? Wouldn't that be cool, though? Like, if in real life you could just get a light and the light would keep the monsters away for the babies? That would be amazing. Actually, that's a trick I'm going to use. If, if this scenario ever does happen, uh, even though lights don't actually get rid of monsters in real life, I'm going to tell the kids that they do. There they are. The defender wall light. That's what I would tell them. I would just be like, you know what? This night light gets rid of all the monsters. And hopefully they would just believe me. And let's give Cora. Is there a pink one? There's not a pink one. There's purple. Purple. There we go. Perfect, perfect, right underneath my jewelry collection. <laughs> oh, poor kids, poor kids, poor kids. Will that work against the wall? It should. All right, I hope I can get in my bed. I really do. All right, back into live mode. Let's get some playing. Let's get some playing. I'm gonna do these three quarter wall things here so we can play. All right, all right. I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. Everyone's staring at me awkwardly like, what do we do now? I don't know what we do now. I guess, what the heck do you do with kids? Um, I'm teaching you how to talk ASAP. Oh no. Should I teach them how to talk? Oh, you know what I would actually do? Oh my god, I would potty train them ASAP, ASAP. So dad, you go you go take care of Cora and go ahead and potty train her. Or wait, who do you have, Gage? You potty train Gage and you potty train him good because uh, I don't want, I don't want to change diapers. Do I have to change diapers? <laughs> oh look, I reached parenting level one already! Already! Look, see, I got this, guys! I can now encourage kids' behavior and influence kids to clean. Wait, can I make them clean? Can I put the toddlers to work? Can I send them to my store and put them to work? Can I teach them how to run a register? That's what I want to know. Can I teach them how to run a cash register? Um, she can now reprimand bad behavior by asking the child not to do that action or simply yelling at the child to stop. Aww. I would never yell. And why is my dad frozen? Is he is he just frozen in fear? No, he would love this, man. He would love this. Tell story. Oh yeah, I forgot I made him crazy, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Um. Let me reset him. He, maybe he's frozen. <laughs> That's a wonderful glitch. That's just beautiful. That's just you know what? That's just uh. Oh, man, I wanted to get a screenshot of that. That would have been a great thumbnail. Anyway, <laughs> parenthood, when your kid starts morphing into you. All right, Grandpa. Um, in real life, the kids call him Papu, which means Grandpa in Greek. So I will try to call him Papu instead of Dad. And he's using my toilet. Ugh. Of course he would. Of course he would. No, Gage. No, 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 no. We don't put paint. We don't put paint on, on, on my, uh, aunt. I was going to say on Aunt Stephanie's floor. They call me Thea. That means aunt. But now I'm mom. Now I'm mom. <laughs> oh, don't yell at the child. Ah! I hit X. Oh, no. Don't yell at the child. Don't. We do not yell at the children. We don't yell at the children. You stop that. You, you potty train him and tell him you love him. Okay. All right. All right. You be nice. You be nice. Be nice to that little baby. All right. Um, is he? Oh, he's angry. He's angry pooping. He's angry pooping. Mm. Good. Good. Be nice to him. Be nice. All right. Where am I? Am I still teaching Cora how to talk? Oh, of course we're playing dolls. Of course. We're like, you know what? You don't need to know how to talk. Let's just play Barbies. I played Barbies until my mid twenties. Not a joke. I, I shouldn't admit that either. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep teaching her how to talk, right? She needs to know how to talk. I want to communicate with her. I want to know how her how her sad little heart is doing. I want to tell her I love her very much, and I want her to understand. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking lots of screenshots, guys. So, uh, sorry, you're just gonna have to deal with that because I uh, I want to capture this moment forever all these moments. <laughs> this is the first day I became a mom. We need lots of photos. Lots and lots. Okay. 
Um, what are you doing? You're a little tense? Yeah, this is... He hasn't potty trained anyone in, like, 30 years, so this is, <laughs> this is an ordeal for him. <laughs> I don't know if he even remembers how. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we gotta sing the song. Pee-pee in the pate. Pee-pee in the pate. <laughs> All right. Mm, I'm trying to think if they need anything else. What day is it? Oh, okay, it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday, so we just got back from um, the funeral in this episode. Well, in the last episode, the series introduction. It's still the same day. Um, so I would have closed the store on the Sunday for the funeral. That's what would have happened in real life. And then in real life, I'm actually closed on Monday, so we're probably going to spend the whole day tomorrow with the kids, and, or today, however the episodes end up going. And then Tuesday in the game is when I would actually go back to my store and reopen it. So we've got a little bit of time. Do toddlers go to school? What do they do? Right, where, where are they going to go in my... Are they going to stay with my dad while I'm at work? Do I take them to work with me? What do you what do you people do? What do you people with kids do when you go to work? I don't oh my gosh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Hey, Dad, how about you teach Gage how to talk? Huh? How about here? Go ahead and make a funny face. Does he know how to talk? Mm, we can Oh my god, they have needs, don't they? <gasps> They're gonna have needs. Does he know how to talk already? Maybe he can talk already. <laughs> Let's teach him to say please and thank you. And I'm gonna give him a good old hug, a good old papu hug, and teach him how to say. Which one did I do? Um, sorry. Teach him how to say sorry. Cora, do you know how to talk yet? If this was real life, would you learn how to talk this fast? I don't even know. Um, does she know how to talk now? Let's. Ah! We're gonna teach her how to say please and thank you and sorry as well. I don't know if she will or not, but we're gonna give it a good old try. Look at them gaining manners. Oh, that's so cute. I love the new parenthood pack so much. This pack is so awesome. <laughs> oh, this is actually kind of fun. This is actually kind of fun. Why is this little buddy still angry? Does it tell us? He wants food. Okay. Oh, he is hungry. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Papu, give him some food. Let's go ahead and, um, 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 um. Oh, wait. I know. Someone told me how to do this. Because sometimes the high chairs glitch out, even though I gave them high chairs. You can prepare food or grab a quick meal or something. What do toddlers eat? Oh, we can grab food for Gage? Oh, you can grab food out of the fridge. Okay, good. Perfect. What does he eat? Um, He's the picky eater. Cora eats everything. Gage is a bit picky. Let me think what he would like. Honestly, probably some crackers. Oh, he does like fruit too. Did we have fruit? I don't know. We'll give him some crackers for now. And I guess the trick is put it on the floor and they can eat it from the floor. I'm feeding the kids on the floor, just like my cats. I see some parallels here. I see some parallels. Um, let's praise her. For what? I don't know. She's angry, too. She's hungry, too. Wow, okay, I reached parenting level two already. I can now influence kids to do homework. Cool, you can firmly tell kids not to do bad behaviors and also select more options when responding to teaching moments. Great. Um, Cora is just a helpless toddler. Caregivers and other sins in the household will need to help care for her. Okay, I don't need lessons. I mean, I, I probably do need lessons, but let's just feed her. Is she sleepy already? It's only six o'clock. That's only six o'clock. Um, oh wait, wrong way, wrong way. Okay. More choices. Grab food for Cora. And we're gonna give her she man, she'll eat anything. Let's give her some some nugs. Give me them nugs, them chicken nuggets. And then she's gonna go to bed, I guess. Look at them gaining conflict resolution skills. Look at this. I'm such a great mom. I'm such a great mom. Oh, don't cry. Oh, is he crying or is he happy? I can't tell. I can't tell what's a happy dance and what's a sad dance. Um, oh gosh, I'm hungry too. Oh my gosh, I better feed myself. Feed the children first and then feed yourself. What would I eat? Hmm. 
I would grab a quick meal of a microwave dinner. This is real life, guys. This is real life. Okay. <laughs> Aww. Feed the baby. Feed the baby. Grandpa, are you feeding a little Gage? Are you feeding Gage? Watch. No. No, no, no. You're supposed to feed this buddy. Where is he? Yeah, he's still hungry. Did you even did you even give him food? Um, let's try that again. Grab food for Wait, which one was he supposed to feed now? Cora, I think. What were we giving her? No. <laughs> I'm so confused. There's too many kids and there's only two of them. How do you do this? Um, Gage, right? Yeah, he's grabbing Gage some cheesy crackers. At least they're not fighting. If they start to fight, that's going to be bad. Oh no, we have an unfinished wall here. I'll have to take care of that later. Oh, he's putting it in the height. Oh, man. All right, well, I guess you could put the kids here, but, uh... Oh, and see, now I just, now we just have food on top of food. I thought they could grab it and put it on the floor. Our kids might not eat. Our kids might not eat. Let's put Cora in this one. We gotta force them to eat. You know what? Don't, don't worry about yourself. Feed the babies first. Feed the babies first. Ah, uh, they can't get to it. Okay, wait. I've got this. I've got this under control. Can you pause real life? You can't pause real life. Let me stop that. Put the nuggets on the floor. And who's going to eat those? Cora. Oh, Gage is going for them. Oh, they're floating in midair. But he got him. He's a champ. He got the nuggets from midair. And then let's, I guess we'll give Cora the cheese crackers. Ah! Yeah, you calm, you calm down, self. There we go. There we go. All right. We're going to make them float in midair again. Yeah, this is so realistic. And then Cora, she's probably going to go straight for them anyways, right? She's hungry. Nope, come get him. Eat, eat, eat. What happened? What happened? That was a bad noise. That was a bad noise. Where's my notifications? Uh, uh, nothing. Nothing happened. Okay. All right. I'm a paranoid mom. Paranoid mom. Just want the kids to eat their food. And suppose I will put them in bed. Oh, <laughs> chicken nuggets chicken nuggets oh eat it don't play eat it don't play with your food don't play with your food that's gonna be a great screenshot <laughs> all right I think we're handling this okay we've got kids eating their food so far everything's good what could possibly go wrong she looks so sad staring at the crackers oh does she need a hug does she need a baby hug? Oh, God, I got to pee. Ah! Why do I keep doing that? Okay. I pee a lot in real life, so that's pretty appropriate. And Papu's eating something for himself. He's a cook in real life, so I, I think I made him a chef in the game. <laughs> Good. Look at them eating. All right. After I pee... Okay, Cora, eat your food. Eat your food. Is she full yet? I guess she... Well... Eat some more. She's still eating. Okay. <gasps> Stop that. Sorry. I'm going to do that a million times while we play. All right. All right. Everything's under control. What are you eating? I'm really curious. Ah, mac and cheese. Excellent. Excellent quality. And vegetarian safe. All right. Now that I'm done peeing, let's, uh, Cora's definitely tired. So... Let's, um, num, 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 read her to sleep. Hopefully this works. Hopefully they just go to bed and let me collect my thoughts. I have to sleep next to a toddler. I have to sleep next to a toddler. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's Gage doing? Is he potty trained? He, okay, his energy is down pretty low too. So let's have Papu read him to sleep. Might as well, right? Toddler care, read to sleep. All right. All right, let's get these kids in bed. <laughs> First day, so far so good, right? Am I doing okay? Am I doing good? Am I good? Am I good Sims mommy? Hmm? 
I know I'm a good fur mommy. I take good, good care of my cats. <gasps> Look at her little nightgown. Aww. Aww, baby, we're gonna read you to sleep. We're gonna have a good all night. So tomorrow we can just spend the whole day together playing. And then mama's gotta go to work the next day. And I still don't know if grandpa should stay home with the kids, if he can handle two of them, or if the kids are coming to work with me. What happened? What are you doing? Where are you going? Hmm. I don't know. Is the baby up? No. Read to sleep. Read Totter to sleep and then go to bed yourself. Aww. He doesn't want to be in his bed. <laughs> Look at his cute little outfit. I didn't make all their outfits, so they're just adorable by default. I mean, how can they not be? They're the cutest toddlers ever. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, once upon a time, there was a princess that lived in a castle, and her name was Cora, and she is your sister. And there was a prince named Gage, because if your sister's a princess, you're a prince. And one day, a dragon came and attacked the entire village and set the castle on fire, and your parents died. Ooh, that's a sad story. Hmm, he fell asleep, though. But it's okay, have no fear, because, you know, Grandpa and, and Auntie Steph gotcha. All right, everyone's sleeping. Did I hit fast forward? I didn't mean to. All right, guys, I think that's a good ending to episode one. I think I got this. They're sleeping. Everyone looks happy. Everyone's well-fed and taken care of. And I need your comments below. Let me know a couple things. Uh, first of all, let me know if we should stay in this apartment for now and make it work with the toddlers. Maybe put them in the closet nicely, a beautiful bedroom closet. Or should we uh, pull out some money out of savings and move? Or should we move should we combine the store with our apartment? So like upstairs is the apartment and downstairs is the store. It's a clothing store. I'll show you guys in the next episode. So let me know that. Number one, where do we want to live? And number two, there was something else I wanted to ask you guys. I can't remember now. Well, if I remember, I'll put it in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in episode two, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want daily Sims videos. I post seven days a week. We play The Sims 3 and Sims 4. Uh, I have a feeling this entire week we're going to be playing with Parenthood, so I guess that's good or bad, right? If you like Parenthood, yay, and if you don't, then just stay tuned. At the end of the week, I will post some different types of videos, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I said that already. I'm going to say it again. Good night! Bye. Why did I say goodnight? It's morning. It's goodnight because my Sims are sleeping. All right. I'm, uh, I did good. Tell me I did good. That's what I want to know. Did I do, did I did good? Did I did good? Did I do good? Okay. <laughs> These kids got me flustered. Bye. Look at me laughing in my sleep. <laughs> totally got this. Totally, totally got this. Dripping lies